Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. We are continuing on with the book of the Sepharim, the book of the, um, a collection of the writings on the heavens, the book of the Shamaim. We are on um, Apocalypse of Moshe. Um, I can see where we left off, sorry. We are on um, verse 21. And I cried out in that very hour, Adam, Adam, where are you? Rise up, come to me, and I will show you a great secret. But when your father came, I spoke to him words of transgression, which have brought us down from our great glory. For when he came, I opened my mouth. I opened my mouth, and the devil was speaking, and I be began to exhort him and said, Come near, Adam, hearken to me, and eat of the fruit of the trees of which Yah told us not to eat of it, and you shall be as a Elohim. It says a Elohim. Uh, be as an Elohim. And your father answered and said, I fear lest Yah be wroth with me. And I said to him, Fear not, for as soon as you have eaten, you shall know good and evil. And speedily I persuaded him, and he ate, and straightway his eyes were opened. And he too knew his nakedness. And he said to me, O oh, wicked woman, what have I done to you that you have deprived me of the glory of Yahuwah? 22. And in that same hour we heard the archangel Michael blowing with his shofar and calling to the angels and saying, Thus says Yah, come with me to paradise and hear the judgment with which I shall judge Adam. And when Yah appeared in paradise, mounted, up, mounted on the chariot of his caravan, or his, car uh, his carabin, uh, the angels proceeding before him and singing hymns of praises, all the plants of paradise, both of your father's lot and mine, broke out into flowers, and the throne of Yah was fixed where the tree of life was. 23. And Yah called Adam, saying, Adam, where are you? Can the house be hidden from the, ple from the presence of its builder? Then your father answered, it is not because we do not think to be found by you, Adoni, that we hide, but I was afraid because I am naked, and I was ashamed before your might, my master. Yah said to him, who, who, showed, who showed you that you are naked, unless you have forsaken my commandment, which I delivered you to keep it? And then Adam called to mind the word which I spoke to him, saying, I will make you secure before Yah. And he turned and said to me, why have you done this? And I said, The serpent deceived me. 24. Yah said to Adam, Since you have disregarded my commandment and have hearkened to your Asha or wife, cursed is the earth in your labors. You shall work it, and it shall not give it strength. Thorns and thistles shall spring up for, for, for you, and in the sweat of your face shall you eat your bread. You shall be in manifold toils. You shall be crushed by bitterness, but of sweetness shall you not taste. Weary shall you be and shall not rest. By heat you shall, shall you be tired. By cold you shall be straightened. Abundantly shall you busy yourself, but you shall not be rich. And you shall grow fat, but come to no end. The beasts over whom you did, didst rule shall rise up in rebellion against you, for you have not kept my commandment. 25. And Yah turned to me and said, Since you have hearkened to the serpent and turned a deaf ear to my commandment, you shall be in throes of travail and intolerable agonies. You shall bear, bear children in much trembling, and in one hour you shall come to the birth and lose your life from your sore trouble and anguish. But you shall confess and say, Yah, Yah, save me, and I will turn no more to the sin of the flesh. And on this account, from your own words, I will judge you by reason of the enmity which the enemy has planted in you. 26. But he turned to the serpent in great wrath and said, Since you have done this and become a thankless vessel, until you have deceived the innocent hearts, accursed you are among all beasts. You shall be deprived of the victual of which you did eat, and shall feed on dust all the days of your life. On your breast and, and your belly shall you walk, and be robbed of hands and feet. 
So snakes used to have hands and feet? Hmm. On your, okay. There shall not be left on, on you ear nor wing, nor one limb of all that with which you did ensnare them in your malice and cause them to be cast out of paradise. And I will put enmity between you and, and her seed. He shall bruise your head and you shall bruise his heel until the day of judgment. 27. Thus he spoke and bade the angels have us cast out of paradise. And as we were being driven out amid our loud lamentations, your father Adam besought the angels and said, Leave me a little space that I may entreat Yah that he have compassion on me and pity me, for I only have sinned. And they left off driving him and Adam crying aloud and wept, saying, Pardon me, O Yah, my deed. Then Yah said to the angels, Why have you ceased from driving Adam from paradise? Why do you not cast him out? Is it I who have done wrong, or is my judgment badly judged? Then the angels fell down on the ground and worshipped Yah, saying, You are just, O Yah, and you, ju you judge righteous judgment. 28. But Yah turned to Adam and said, I will not suffer you hereafter to be in paradise. And Adam answered and said, Grant me, O Yah, of the tree of life, that I may eat of it before I am cast out. Then Yah spoke to Adam, You shall not take of it now, but I have commanded the caravine with a flaming sword that turns every way to guard it from you, that you shall not taste of it. But you have the war which the adversary has put into you. Yet when you are gone out of paradise, if you should keep yourself from all evil as one about to die, when again the resurrection has come to pass, I will raise you up, and then there shall be given to you the tree of life. 29. Thus spoke Yah, and ordered us to be cast out of paradise. But your father Adam wept before the angels opposite paradise, and the angels said to him, What would you have us to do, Adam? And your father said to them, Behold, you cast me out. I pray, I pray you, allow me to take away fragrant herbs from paradise, so that I may offer an offering to Yah, after I have gone out of paradise, that he hear me. And the angels approached Yah and said, Yah, yah El, eternal king, command Adonai, that there be given to Adam incense of sweet odor from paradise and seeds for his food. And Yah bade Adam to go in and take sweet spices and fragrant herbs from paradise and seeds for his food. And the angels let him go, and he took four kinds, crocus and nard and calamus and cinnamon, and the other seeds for his food. And after taking these, he went out of paradise, and we were on the earth. 30. Now then, my children, I have shown you the way in which we were deceived and guard yourselves from, from transgressing against the good. Um, 31. And when Kua had said this in the midst of her sons while Adam was lying ill and bound to die after a single day from the sickness which had fastened upon him, she said to him, How is it that you die and I live? Or how long have I to live after you are dead? Tell me. And Adam said to her, do not, reckon, do not reckon of this, for you will not tarry after me, but even both of us are to die to, together, and she shall lie in my place. But when I die, anoint me, and let no man touch me till the angel of Yah shall speak somewhat concerning me. For Yah will not forget me, but will seek his own creature. And now arise, rather, and pray to Yah, till I give up my Ruach into his hands who gave it to me. For we do not know how we are to meet our Maker, whether He is wroth with us or if, if or is merciful and intends to pity and receive us. Um, next time we will be reading 32 through 43, and that'll be the end of the Apocalypse of Moshe. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long. Um, so, I try to put the bookmark where I'll remember where the uh, pay, where the the number that we were on, but we're on thirty two, so I should probably put it here so that I remember exactly which one. All right, I love you all. Um, Tola Rabba, Abba Yahuwah. Torah Rabbah, Abba Yahuwah, Abba Yahuwah.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Hua, Alleluia, Alleluia, Hua. Baruch Hashem Yahuwah. Shalom and blessings, everyone. I love you all.